All right, so if we take uh, this problem, I'll go through and show you um, how to solve it by uh, using complex fractions as well as using factoring. Okay. The majority of students prefer factoring, so I'm going to do that first and then I'll show you, or I'm sorry, the majority of the students prefer to rewrite it as a complex fraction and then I'll do a second attempt with uh, factoring. So when you look at this, you're still, you're kind of looking, you have these two groups of factors here. Okay. Since there's a negative power, you can rewrite this as a fraction <coughs> using positive powers. And okay, so let's rewrite it. So if we take this first group, I'm going to reorder this. I'm going to put the monomial factor in front. So I have 2 and then 4x squared plus 9 to the 1 half. Okay, so there's my first fraction. And then minus, and let's simplify this again. If we take half of 8, this reduces to a 4x, and let's move that in front. Again, putting the monomial factors at the beginning. So we have a 4x, and then we have this 2x plus 3. And then this base has a negative power, so I'm going to take 4x squared plus 9, write it in the denominator, and we're going to take this to the positive 1 half. So we've just rewritten this as a fraction. That's all over 4x squared plus 9. When you take a power to a power, what do you do with the powers? So half times 2 gives you a power of 1. So here's our denominator. Okay, so if you're going to treat this as a complex fraction, again, what you'll see anytime I work with these types of problems, I set up all the fractions, so you're gonna, it reinforces what you're going to be doing with the inverting and multiplying and working on the fractions. Okay, and let's see what's going to happen if we wanted to combine this numerator into one single fraction. So looking for LCDs, we need a factor of 1 and a factor of 4x squared plus 9 to the 1 half. So here's our LCD. And so if we go back to the numerator, rewrite the numerator, 2 times 4x squared plus 9 to the 1 half. And we're going to multiply this by any LCD factor that's missing from its denominator. So what's it missing here? It's missing 4x squared plus 9 to the 1 half. So if we take this and we multiply it by another 4x squared plus 9 to the 1 half, when you multiply two exponents with the same base, what do you do with the powers? You add it. Okay, and so 1 half plus 1 half gives you an overall 1, right? So we, you don't even need to write it down. It's just the 4x squared plus 9. Now we move to the next fraction's numerator. So minus 4x times 2x plus 3. And we're going to multiply this numerator by the missing LCD factor from its denominator. What's it missing? One. Nothing. So you can write 1 or just leave it as it is. Okay, so if we distribute through here, we get 8x squared plus 18. Distribute through here, minus 8x squared minus 12x. I can combine all my like terms here. The x squareds cancel, and I'm left with a negative 12x and then a plus 18. My denominator stays 4x squared plus 9 all to the 1 half power. Okay, so here is my numerator written as a single fraction. So this is the simplified form. Okay, now I'm going to divide by this fraction. Well, instead of dividing, you can invert and multiply. So instead of dividing by this, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So move the 1 up to the numerator, the 4x squared plus 9 to the denominator. And now my final answer when I multiply across the tops, negative 12x plus 18. All over in the denominator, my base is common between these two exponents. So when you have a common base, with exponents and you multiply, what do you do with the powers? So this is a power of 1 or 2 halves. 2 halves plus 1 half gives you 3 halves. Okay, so here's one possible form of the answer. Now, if you notice in the numerator of this fraction, are there any common factors you can remove? Even more. And again, with the negative sign as well. So if you take out a negative 6, that leaves you with a 2x and a minus 3. The denominator stays the same. Either of these would be acceptable answers. All right, I'm going to show you an alternate method, the, the factoring method, which to me seems easier if you understand how to factor 
um, and you're comfortable with it, it's, it's much fewer steps. And so uh, it may be easier for you to do it as well. Okay. The half of eight becomes a four. And then again, I'm just going to reorder this, move the four X in front. I'm going to move this two in front just to make it easier to read or to coordinate. Okay, but if I'm going to solve this by factoring, I'm going to look to see are there any common factors I can remove from both groups. So let's look at the numbers. Between a 2 and a 4, is there a common factor you can remove? Yeah, so you can take out the 2. And then the next, the common base of 4x squared plus 9. That's common to be each group, so we can take out the smallest power. Which power is smaller furthest to the left on the number line? The negative. Okay, and so what remains inside here has to have the same form of what you started with. One group minus another group. Okay, so let's go in and see what's going to be left over. Well, we took out the two. We took out a power of negative one half. So anytime you divide out powers, you have to subtract. So we subtract a negative half from each of these. And again, we factor out a two from each. So the two out of this four is going to leave a two here. So in this first group, we took out everything. We, subtracting a negative power is like, or a negative is like adding the opposite. So in this first group, we're left with a 4x squared plus 9 to the 1 half plus 1 half, or first. In the second group, we have this 2 and the x. And then we have uh, this expression, add the opposite. We remove that entire factor. We do have this factor of 2x plus 3, however. So here's the group that remains in the second part of this expression. And then our denominator we can simplify just like we did before. Power of 1 half squared. Take a power to a power you multiply. Okay. Once you work through this process, any factors with negative powers you can move to make them a positive power. So we're going to take this factor, move it to the denominator, change its sign to positive. Okay, so again, all we're doing here is moving that and applying the negative power. And then if we distribute through here, we get a negative 4x squared minus a 6x. Again, this 4x squared plus 9 stayed as it was. And so our final step is to simplify what we have. We have our 2 out front. The 4x squared and the negative 4x squared cancel, leaving a negative 6x and a positive 9. And that's all over in the denominator. We have common base. We're multiplying exponents with the same base. You add their powers. So 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. And now, here's the one thing that you have to be aware of. Okay, I told you that either of these forms is acceptable. It's a polynomial form or the factored form. What's not acceptable is a mixture of them. And so here you've written it as factors, but is it completely factored? No, if you're going to write it as factors, it needs to be factored completely. So what else can you remove from this numerator? And a, or a negative 3. So if we take out a negative, an extra negative 3 here, this becomes a negative 6. You're left with a 2x and a minus 3 when you factor out that negative 3 to get the same answer that we got using the other method. And so here would be your solution.